It's been three years since I bought this truck and with Tacoma we drove for 40,000 miles around the States visiting the most remote and super cool destinations. But I want to do something bigger and better mileage and bigger. Tacoma definitely has many good parts, but it's a relatively small truck anyway, and gas is so expensive. Bigger wheels, camber and everything makes it having like 12 miles a gallon, which is not cool. And every time I want to go somewhere, I'm asking myself, is it worth it financially? And it's not a good question if you want to wait your adventures. One day I found one camper on the Craigslist. I was in Canada and I was like, shit, that's such a drive. But I asked one of my friends who had big enough truck to go pick it up and we made it. The camper was in terrible condition. The seller was completely lying to us about everything. The floor was rotten and moldus all around. There were some pretty bad damages. I, of course, I figured everything out just when I started taking it apart and prepping for the restoration. And it was the moment when I was like, should I probably sell it because this everything seems like I'm not gonna be able to make it. It's like way too much. That would be like way easier to build the new camper. All the mounting points were rusty, all the plywood was just completely gone. The roof had some holes and covered by some kind of moss. I was cleaning it up with the thing. But after long days of work, of taking junk apart, I found the strength to continue and pretty excited to see where the thing goes. And it's so funny, I don't even have a truck for it, but we'll see how uh, it's gonna bring in the future. So right now, there's a lot of things done. There's a lot to be done. I built a tiny frame for the ventilation fan and installed the fan itself on the wall using this hole from the fridge. Had to be really creative building stuff by myself, having only two hands. And finally took apart the roof. That was a big decision to make. And it's like funny, as soon as you touch something, it comes to the next one. You're fixing the wall, then you see the roof is bad, and etc, etc. <laughs> so I ended up taking it apart and building the new one. I also needed some support points for the roof rack and new wiring for solar panels. So it seems like the only shell is gonna be the original. Right. We'll see you in the next episode. Go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see more, leave your comment of any questions. I'm only starting this channel and would love to be more useful and share some experience. Let's stay in touch.